Yes, uh, you see that uh, every IIT have their own strength. And uh, IIT Mandi is a very young IIT. So we have to uh, figure out where we have to focus our energy. So as of now, we have given four specific direction. One is that you saw that we have this conclave on human computer interface. So this is also one of our theme area and we have established a center in human computer interface and I told you four grand projects we are doing that is artificial skin or digital touch, uh, digital taste that means uh, bio manufacturing uh, the customized food. Similarly. Uh, the digital smell, right, and uh, and then air ambulance. So these are some of the focus area, and you saw that. Uh, uh, so this is SCI Human Computer Interface. We have a center for AI and robotics, where again we focus on some user uh, specific uh, theme. Uh, uh, drone technology is one of the thing. Uh, drone technology both in disaster management, drone technology in civil applications. So these are some of the things that uh, we are focusing. We are focusing in developing a, a, a robotic nurse, particularly in pandemic time you saw that we have to insulate the doctors or caregivers from the patient and still we have to care for the patient. So, so these kind of some of the things that we are working in uh, uh, Center for AI and Robotics. We have a Center for Quantum Science and Technology where we have taken, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have made a consortium with uh, National Institute of uh, Material Science in Japan, uh, PRL Hyderabad, uh, sorry, PRL Ahmedabad and other institutes within India and we have created a consortium, we have hired you know uh, particularly uh, the faculty member who would work in quantum technology, uh, we have now taken PhD student in this area, so we are developing this area given that uh, India is focusing on the quantum mission, our plan is to build a quantum computer in two years. So that is, uh, of course we are little aggressive and hopefully we will be able to do that. And uh, fourth technology is that you know that India is facing mental health problem. Not only India, the entire globe. But unfortunately, mental health does not have a proper understanding because nobody understands what is mind. Fortunately, in Indian tradition, mind, body, consciousness, the holistic view is already there in Ayurveda, is there in Bhagavad Gita, is there in Upanishads, is there in many of our literature. We need to tap that understanding and bring into science and create products that can help those who are going through mental stress, anxiety. Besides that also, the kind of disease we have, brain disorder disease that we talk about, whether it is autism, Alzheimer, you know, whether we can also work on that. So these are primarily four interdisciplinary areas in which we are working. Uh, for the last one, we have named that center as Indian Knowledge System and a Mental Health Application. And besides that, one more which we are focusing in interdisciplinary way is sustainable technology. This is all. As of now, we are we we don't want to go in many areas, but this. You see that um, industry is a key player. Because of my connection with the TCS, um, you know, we are bringing TCS on board as far as human computer interaction is concerned. But recently we are working with the TCS also 
to give a push to entrepreneurship program within our academic curriculum. So we are setting up a program where our students will get credit for entrepreneurship activity they do and that they will do based on a competitive basis. It is not that is free for everyone. Those who have that aptitude, that knack, we will scout that, we will mentor them. TCS will be a partner in this. Other people also will be partner it. So we'll mentor our students and hopefully we'll bring out best entrepreneur from our student, whether un mostly undergraduates as well as uh, uh, other uh, students, uh, postgraduate students also. But this is mostly focused on our under undergraduates because some of them are really very smart and they can become a good entrepreneur if we give them that ecosystem. They don't have to travel to uh, Bay areas uh, or Silicon Valley to become an entrepreneur. Can we make them here? So this is uh, uh, something that we have been doing. And uh, uh, you see that uh, we have, uh, uh, we are in the process of uh, uh, creating a, uh, what you call a research park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, uh, IIT Mandi is uh, locationally very remote, to be frank, because uh, to reach IIT Mandi means you have to first go to Chandigarh and then take a drive of almost four to five hours to reach Mandi. And it is, uh, so first of all, we, you saw that we have this uh, uh, Section 8 company, uh, IHUB and SCI Foundation. We also have a very a uh, vibrant incubator called Catalyst and uh, we have already invested uh, more than 20 crores in the funding and uh, you know one of these uh, uh, mentored companies had a exit because it was procured by America some American company and and that has given some good profit to our incubation and we we hope that many such companies will have exit route that means they are purchased by some big company and uh, but the idea here is that how do we bring our uh, youth who are creative make them think bigger and and they have a better understanding what kind of technology what kind of science is required for our society and uh, we have more than uh, 200 startups incubated at currently at IIT Mandi and uh, we have taken some space in Bangalore to create a ecosystem so that our startups also can be situated in Bangalore we have IIT SCB um, forum where we have taken some space there so and they being in Bangalore they can have much bigger outreach also so and industrial connect also uh, so these are some of the steps as of now this is what today we have been discussing why uh, the AI technology has not been grounded to Indian system because lake of Indian database. We don't have Indian database. Our Indian researchers always worked on database that are there in MIT or Berkeley or those are all American database, maybe European database. We don't have our own database. And we have to wake up to this reality. We have to create. Uh, so, of course, Indian language, uh, uh, Sanskrit itself, you know, we have a great database and people are creating those databases. But on application wise, we don't have database. And I have, at, as, as far as IIT Mandi is concerned, all those, uh, you know, areas I told, I have told my faculty members focus on generating Indian database. Unless Indian, see AI is all about data. 
that you have to understand Absolutely. we don't have indian database whether it's medical field mm. education field mm. entertainment field mm. <laughs> any field you see we don't have our own database okay. uh, that is where we have failed we have to now recognize and we have to invest mm. in generating database for our indian and in you see in india mm. again every region is different that is also another challenge Yeah. I am from Odisha. Mm. The database in Odisha will be different from what is database in Himachal. Mm. You see, it's, it's completely different landscape. Mm. So, so these are bottleneck. So, data, Indian data, this is the key mm. to generate mm. uh, Indian, uh, India-centric AI. Mm. You see that uh, IIT Mandi is in a location that is seismic zone, prone to cloud burst, landslide, and everything. And uh, and we have to address these issues for sure. And uh, our faculty member have already developed. Uh, landslide monitoring system, but any system that works on data will take time to become robust because over the years you have to collect data because this landslide monitoring is based on data. So based on one year data, you cannot have a robust system. The system is installed. It goes through variation of data over the years, maybe five years at least. Any system is built, you know, these data-centric models will not work instantaneously. Let me tell you, it we have to be patient for it. So, so this is one direction we have taken. We are now working with uh, uh, other stakeholders, uh, including Ministry of Earth Science. And uh, other uh, DGRI, uh, that uh, how we can uh, create a science of landslide and uh, and take mitigation, uh, uh, remedial measures. So these are some of the things we are working on it. Yeah. You see, IIT Mandi, the very positive thing is that we have very young faculty enthusiastic faculty it is very easy uh, you know to mold them given a direction you know now we are not talking in terms of that you work in any area yes we have to give their interest uh, uh, the prime focus you know, we should not fiddle with their interest but that interest has to be oriented to to get deliverables so so that way we have made already focused interdisciplinary areas where whatever their interest they can gear in these so we are hoping that uh, time bound deliverables will come out from iit mandi over the year and that would attract also you know talent pool both in terms of students as well as Uh, faculty members to come, and uh, um, as uh, I have told you, uh, entrepreneurship is something uh, is our also one of the focus area, innovation, uh, technological innovation, and taking them to marketable research, marketable research and technological innovation, resulting into product that will be there on ground. So I would be happy if IIT Mandi can follow that path.